So um, mobile applications has been uh, definitely uh, a huge, huge sector in the startup. Uh, but I think uh, we already have a lot of mobile applications right now on App Store. So do you know that there are around 2.2 million apps on App Store and 2 million apps on Play Store or somewhere around that? So there are like 4.2 million apps that exist around the world. But how many do we, we actually use? So if you look at your phone, you would be probably only using 30 to 40 apps altogether. So which means that the 80% of the apps that are out there, they are actually zombie apps, which means they are dead. No one is actually installing them and people, people have spent a lot of money developing them. So it's not a, about, a startup is not about, okay, uh, thinking about, all right, I'm going to create a mobile application that will be so cool. I'm going to create a copy of TikTok or a copy of Facebook or Instagram and it, it will work. It doesn't happen like that. So you, the first thing that you need to identify is, okay, what problem are you trying to solve? What is the need? What is the gap in the market that you are trying to solve and how that gap could be solved? So mobile application is just a means. Uh, for example, uh, a website is just a means. A mobile application could be a means. But now the world is moving towards augmented reality. Uh, world is moving towards virtual reality. World is moving towards all of these uh, speakers like smart speakers like Alexa and Google Assistant. Do you think people would still be ordering pizzas from their mobile apps after five years? No. People would be saying, hey, hey, Google, hey, Siri, hey, Alexa, get me a pizza. And... Uh, uh, Sorry, I just said, uh, hey, Google, so it uh, paused. Uh, oh, I won't repeat the word, uh, hey, space Google, because it's just pausing my video every time because my, my Google uh, thing is activated. Anyways, what I was saying was that mobile applications uh, uh, is not the answer to the, the startup world because earlier it used to be star, uh, mobile application. Now, after five years, you would be ordering pizzas on uh, your uh, Google Assistant or Siri or or any any such system. Uh, all you have to do is just say, "Hey Siri, uh, you know I want a pizza," and and pizza would be delivered. For example, if I have to uh, order an Uber, I don't go on the app in the morning. I just say, "Hey uh, Siri, get me an Uber," and it actually uh, books an Uber for me. So the world is moving towards voice. The world is also moving towards augmented reality and virtual reality and artificial intelligence, and most importantly, internet of things. So smart lights, smart bulbs, smart smart everything. So you put a sensor in, into something, it becomes smart. So you put a sensor into uh, your shower, your shower becomes a smart shower. You put a sensor in your toilet uh, and use that data, it becomes a smart toilet. So it's, it's all about those smarts, smart homes, smart offices, smart streets, smart transports, and the world is moving towards that direction. Now, if you're thinking of startups, if you're you thinking of mobile application, a mobile application would only work uh, if you if there is definitely a, a huge gap in the market and there's a clear enough uh, space. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, it's 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 not exactly about the the technology itself; it's about the problem that you are trying to 